How have I been able to finish college assignments two to three weeks before the deadline and still get distinctions? How am I able to go to the gym consistently two times a day and also being able to consistently post on YouTube? For me, it comes down to my productivity. Hello everyone, I hope we are well and ready to become 1% better than yesterday. So before we go on to how we can become more productive, we must look at the issues that can come about when we are trying to be productive. You see, the main cause for not being productive in all of our lives is that we say we don't have enough time. And for a lot of people, this is true, but also for a lot of people, this is a complete lie. We say we're going to go to the gym, for example, in the week, but it comes to the end of the week and we look back at our week and we haven't gone to the gym and it's because we didn't have enough time. But is it really because we didn't have enough time? We must take it from a realistic point of view. How can we become productive with our lives? We are in control of our actions. When you are procrastinating, you are procrastinating. It is your actions that is making you procrastinate. If you are on Netflix, if you are on social media, that is down to you. We must internalize this. Now, obviously, there's going to be things that are going to pop up and are going to change from time to time, which will ultimately stop us from doing what we want to do. If you want to understand that you are 100% in control of your time and you still procrastinate, then you will feel guilty for wasting that time. And therefore, you will start taking action to make the most of your time. Maybe for you, you are really busy and there are a lot of things going on, but you still have goals, you still have ambitions you want to achieve. I suggest what you do is what a lot of other people do and what also what Marcus Aurelius did. And that is putting the hardest thing at the start of your to-do list. Because when you do that, you will complete the hardest challenge of the day and you'll create a knock-on effect for the rest of the day. For example, for me, when I have intense training sessions in the morning, it is almost inevitable that after that training session, my day is infinitely times more productive than when I didn't have that training session at the start of the day. What does it mean when we say we're going to use our time efficiently? This is an interesting topic because we all think if we sit down in front of a computer for 12 hours and do a bit of work every now and again with our phone right by us, that's working hard, that's working efficiently. I used to really believe that the longer I sit down at my desk and do assignment work, the more productive I am. But the interesting thing is that if I move, remove my distractions, if I turn my phone off, if I move all of my stuff out the way and focus on my assignment work for two to three hours, I would have done as much work as I would have done when I sat at the desk for 12 hours. And this is really interesting because the sooner we internalize and understand this thought of maximizing our time, we're able to do stuff quicker and therefore we have more time to do more stuff in our day. A good example I can tell you is that I was in a test a few weeks ago and I was thinking about how focused I was on completing this paper in front of me. And if we implement that sort of concentration we have in exam conditions throughout our day, our productivity is going to be absolutely phenomenal. The amount of stuff we're going to do will be a lot higher than a lot of other people. So with that said, the world works around cause and effect. You do something, something else happens, something else happens, something else happens, which leads you to be in the situation you are in right now in the present. The same applies with productivity. We do a piece of work, that will knock us on to do another piece of work, that will knock us on to do another piece of work, that will knock us on to another piece of work. We get into the right mindset, we get into the right frame of mind, in the right environment, we will inevitably get more work done and do more with our lives. Hopefully ticking all the boxes and allowing you to achieve your goals. So with that said, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value from this video and I shall see you into the next one. Take care. Peace.